thing before this match is about to start. Nick C will be returning to NYC Smash at the Xeno Saga. So definitely want to see the, probably the craziest Falcon out there. Uh, gotta come out. Yeah, and there's Ws. So come out for Ws. And there's Ws. Um, so with that said, uh, we are getting straight into Gen versus Mega. And this is really a, a set of the very established player in Gen and someone who has been very consistently on the come up these past few months, really post pandemic in general, or I guess not post pandemic, but post coming back from the pandemic. Um, has been mega, has really been improving drastically, has been very consistently starting to make these top eights, these top uh, 24s. Ooh, in the corner though, back airing. Again, this is this is where I, I really is super strong. Having you in the corner, trying to land that nair on you. Ooh, quick up air, missing it there. Jen successfully making it back to ledge. Looking for an air dodge there, I think, was Mega. Jen did not bite. And I feel like this is going to be a pretty tough matchup for Ikes. I know Ikes have complained about before. Because when you think about Ikes' main game, it's really about how they use landings to their advantage. Whether it's gaining an air or like mixing up with Tomahawk or a different aerial. But that whole game plan is really hard to deal with against Paltana because not only do they have an invincible back air that can stuff out even Ike's big sword, they also have a Nair that's really active. That being said, some good counterplay is that neutral B. If you can catch the teleport timing, it'd be such an early kill. Yeah, that was a great recovery by Jen to get really past that. Huff move to get past big hitboxes, also big hitboxes, Ike dash attack. That is going to be enough for the stock and not too big of a deficit right now. For Mega, gonna have to get a quick confirm to get this back. However, Jen getting a confirm in the zone with that Nair. Sending uh, Mega into the corner. Not gonna get too much off of it just yet. We're back to Nooch. Yeah, and I would not be surprised if, I was about to say, if we do start seeing a little bit more Ardor Medical coming out from Jen. Ike being as slow as he is uh, can be really tough for Ike to deal with that move, especially because Ike does love to jump in. Yeah, you kind of have to hard read it, but that being said, that's how Jen lost his first stock, was getting his auto red, the hard red to, you know, Ike is a character that can punish so hard, but it does not matter when you get chased down like that beautiful up air, super high up. Yeah, and while, while Ike is so good at mix, oh, you're dead. Oh, He's got ladder oh. comboed by Ike. <laughs> Yeah, PS2 is so yeah. good for Ike, you know, normally, like, I get why people start here, but yeah. Ike can kill you at 50, like, from anywhere with a Nair, yeah. with stuff like that, so. Yeah, quick Nair Nair up here for Mega. No jump. Oh, this is so tough for Mega. Yeah. And the air dodge. Jen really just had to wait for that one air dodge. Came out. Just had to wait for Ike to slowly fall back down. Quick back air. Alan, Jen takes game number one. One. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's really, the Explosive Flame is another thing that we didn't quite uh, see until the end right there. But Ike normally has a pretty tough recovery to deal with when he like, can mix up where they go from the side. So having such an active, big fireball to interrupt yeah. any Ike mix-up is so strong because it takes away his like biggest strength and recovery and forces him to totally mix it up and potentially go low, which is really easy to kill. Ooh, looking for that jump read there. Was um, Jen could have been really huge having like, in a corner without that jump. Um, however, quick response by Jen or by um, Mega rather, um, getting this quick bit of percent, really not folding in disadvantage, staying uh, in positions to not really just get killed at early percents thus far. Um, in the corner again, though, I'm trying to use that down tilt, super duper active. Mega is able to get out of the corner though with that quick jab. Jen, in the Vanity once more, not going to die to that same confirm once again is Mega. Interesting stuff, using that down air to actually fight back. We haven't seen that yet, and I believe it might outrange Paltina up air. It's a very big downwards disjoint, so I, I think it's clever stuff. Oh, that is so laggy, though, and I respect the attempts, but um, Jen just holding shield, and what can I do about that from that distance? You have to commit with a ton of grab. Yeah. I got B is so crazy. <laughs> it's like, ah, 95 at center stage? Yeah, you died. Um, with that said, Jen responding in kind with 30% of his own. Um, gonna catch that recovery with the side B. Um, and really, I think the, the struggle has been, and I think this is more of a matchup thing than a player matchup thing. 
is getting out of the corner as Ike versus Palu is so hard. Her ledge trapping is so good. On top of just Jen, who's such a great reactionary and kind of uh, feel player, kind of can adapt and understand player habits really, really quickly. Um, it makes it really, really tough to get out of the corner against uh, Palu, especially when you are as limited as Ike is in the corner. Ooh, fair though. Looking and for a ledge trap off his own. This, this could be a stock for uh, Mega, though. We saw a lot of game there and there, killing so early. And instead, catching uh, the jump from I. Yeah, down throw back air. Still uh, confirm on quite a few characters, especially those heavier, bigger characters. Uh, Palican absolutely still make those confirms. Looking for another bear. Okay, retreating back to the ledge is... Um, Jet, or is uh, Mega. Not using that jump there was pretty smart. He's going to go straight for that side B. However... A situation. Jen looking for that back air, but uh, a preemptive up B and a quick air dodge uh, punish by Mega is going to take that stock on a DI out by Jen. Yeah, that was so good. That landing uh, grab on the neutral get up. They're definitely not ready for that against Ike, who love to like do stuff like F tilt usually that have like a bit of a lingering hitbox. And then reading that air dodge because he kind of would panic getting grabbed like that. Just such clean stuff from Mega. Ooh, however, right now at 115 percent. Looking dangerous for um, Mega. However, this is how Ike really starts making that huge comeback. Looking for that Nair beneath those platforms. And you can tell uh, Mega's looking for it in the way that he is shielding. Looking for that double jump. Doesn't end up giving it to him. Bear. Not enough. Nice spacing right there on the side to get through that. Almost dashed straight into the uh, explosive flame. 152% Bear will start killing from center stage pretty soon. However, Nair will start killing underneath the platform right now from to Nair, Nair up air. Okay, quick jabs. Jen trying to get out of there. Megan reading that option. That's oh. it. And an unfortunate a roll read back was there by Mega, but the timing was off, and it's going to be Jen taking it. Over yeah, that, Mega. that could have been so bad if Mega like decided to dash tech instead. Yes. 71 at ledge with that much rage. I wouldn't be I don't think it would kill, but still it'd just be so much such a like big momentum shift. Uh, yeah, and it actually it wasn't even so much of a roll read as it was a reaction to um Jen shielding there. Mm -hmm. Um and you can see that um in the replay. Uh Really just a reaction to shield there. With that said, we are going to swap off in just a second. But before we do, I do want to go back to the Xenosaga 37 slide. Again, it is this Saturday, folks. I will be there. I will be there. We'll be teaming there, actually. Yeah, we'll be teaming there. So we'll both be there teaming. And again, with that said, of course, as you're teaming, there is doubles, there is singles. Um, and Nick C is there. The return of the Goat Falcon in New York and in general um, is going to be back. So... Come out to this event. Uh, I believe it is $20 uh, entry, so it's $10 singles entry, $10 venue fee, and $10 for doubles, five per player. Um, and with that said, doubles at 2 p.m., doors open at 1. Uh, and yeah, so register now at uh, exclamation point Xenosaga saga in the chat. And then smash that GG slash Xenosaga. And yeah, come on down. Yeah, but um, I believe that is going to be it for me. Uh, I will be signing out. I am Extra O. You can follow me on Twitter at Extra underscore O underscore SSB. You know, it has been an honor. It has been an honor. Okay. Peace, everyone. Peace out. Matcherino. We'll see you in just a bit.